Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video I'm going to show you how this push button module works and how you can use it for your projects. If you are interested in this sensor or in the kit where it's coming from, I will let you a link in the description below. So let's get started. <music> So first of all, let's talk about what a button actually is. A button is a hardware component that allows us to interact with a system. It could be a mechatronical system, a pure electronical system or other kind of system. So it's an interface to a system, also called HMI, Human Machine Interface. If you look on your Arduino, you also have a button. And this is the reset button of the Arduino. So let's have a look on the component hardware. This type of button that you find on the KY004 module has four legs. The two top legs are connected together and the two bottom legs are also connected together. So when the button is released, the top section and the bottom section are not connected together. So now if you press the button, these two sections will connect together and will allow a current to flow through those legs up to a resistor where you can sense the voltage. And now if we sense this voltage with a microcontroller, in our case the Arduino, the system will be able or the Arduino will be able to know if a user is pressing the button or not. So if the button is released, we will sense zero volts on the microcontroller. And if we press the button, we will sense five volts. And this can be shown in this graph. But as we are not believing in Santa Claus anymore, it's not that easy. The following graph illustrates a typical switch or button bounce. When you push a button, two metal parts are coming together. So for the user, for me, for you, it might seem that the contact is made immediately, but it's not the case. Inside of this button there are two moving parts, so when you push the switch it initially makes contact with the other metal part, but just a brief split of microseconds. Then it makes contact a little longer and again and again and again. It's like a little bouncing that happened inside of this button. In the end the switch is fully closed and the two metal parts are connected together. The oscillation of these metal parts is causing the bouncing that you can see on the graph. Usually the hardware works faster or sends faster than the bouncing, which results in that the hardware think you are pressing the switch several times. And this can make or cause some, some issues in your um, software, in your Arduino program. So there are actually two methods how we can debounce a button or a switch. Um, but I'm actually not going deeper in this video. So if you are interested um, in this topic, how you can debounce a button, Please let me know in the comments and I will make a video if um, you are interested in this. So now let's move on to our module. On the module we have a button, a resistor and three pins. The pin on the left is the signal pin, the pin in the middle is the voltage pin and the pin on the right is the minus pin. So you need to be careful because depending on what kind of configuration your module have, you will need to wire it differently. 
So I listed here the four possible combinations that you can find or that you can use. First of all, you can have the resistor between pin number two and pin number three. Or you can have the resistor between pin number one and pin number two. So make sure to know between which pins your resistor is. Then you need to know how you are going to wire your resistor. So do you want to use your resistor as a pull down resistor? Or do you want to use your resistor as a pull up resistor? In my case, uh, I have the resistor between pin number two and pin number three, and I will use it as a pull down. So that's why I will connect the signal pin to the Arduino 5 volt, the pin in the middle to ground, and the minus pin to digital pin number four. And I will also use a LED to visualize if the button is pressed or not. I will connect this LED to pin number 3. For this I need a Arduino board, a breadboard, a button module, a red LED, a resistor and few jumper wires. Now let's assemble all the components together. to the PC. Now we are ready to program this module. So let's have a look on the code. So first of all I defined a variable button pin in which one I store the value 4. The value 4 is corresponding to the pin on the Arduino that we choose. Then I define a variable led pin in which one I store the value 3. 3 is the value that corresponds to the LED pin on the Arduino. Then I define a boolean variable button state which one I initialize to false. In the setup loop I define the button pin as an input and the LED pin as an output. In the loop, I read the value from the button pin and store this value in the variable button state. Then I use an if structure to see if this button state variable is true or false. If this variable is true, then I will enter here and put the LED pin on high. If it's false, I will put the LED pin on low. If the LED pin is high, the LED will go on. If the LED pin is low, then the LED go off. Let's see if this is working. So now you can see the LED is off and the button is released. So now I press the button and you can see that the LED goes on. And now I release the button, the LED goes off. I hope this video was helpful for you. I'll be very happy if you let me a feedback in the description. Thanks for watching, leave a like, share, subscribe and see you next time.